Welcome back. In this video tutorial, I wanted to talk about just simple navigation inside Blender. And in this 3D viewport, we want to be able to navigate around. We want to be able to rotate around or orbit around our objects. And I have Blender set up to orbit around the selected object which is kind of handy and you do that in preferences. All right, so the basic thing that we're going to see once we open up Blender is we're going to see a lamp. It always comes in with a default lamp. We're going to see a camera and generally we're going to see a cube. Now we can set this or change this um, however we want to, but when you first open it up, basically that's what you're going to see. And to orbit around, I'm just going to middle mouse click. And you should have a three button mouse when you're working inside Blender. It's going to make things much easier. So if I want to see around my object, I'm just going to hold down the middle mouse. If I want to pan, like we do in Photoshop, left to right, I'm going to hold down middle mouse button and shift. And if I want to zoom, I'm just going to use a, the scroller wheel on my mouse. And these are things that you're just going to have to learn how to do, plain and simple. And then we have some other keys to, uh, that will help us. A lot of times you're going to want to work from the top view. And we can get to that by hitting the 7 key, and you'll see that we have now the top ortho view. If we hit the one key, we'll be in the front, so this is our front view. Three key will be right, and if we look up there, it'll tell us where my mouse is. It'll tell me that I'm in right ortho, and seven is top. Now if we want to see the bottom, we'll just hit control seven, and now we're at the bottom. Control one shows us the back and control 3 will show us the left hand side. Remember 3 is right and just add the control key will give us the left side. And then whenever you're, whenever you're in, in any of these views, these ortho views, if we just middle mouse click now we're back into the perspective. Well, Actually, actually we're in the user ortho so let me show you what perspective looks like. So this is user perspective and I'm just tapping the 5 key. And this is the user perspective in ortho. Ortho has no perspective on it. So when I look at 7, when I hit my top button key to look from the top, here it is in perspective. And if I tap the 5 key, this is how it is in ortho. And you can see how if you want to move these items exactly and just see them kind of as flat shapes, you would want to look at them in ortho. And that 5 key will just toggle back and forth. Now when I'm working out here, I like to see that perspective. All right. So what's going to happen? Also, you're just going to click in here and you're going to see this little cursor bounce around. That is how we set um, or that is kind of like a target object and we'll get into that later when we start snapping to things all right so if we wanted to put this cursor right here on the center all we have to do is click and if we want to change that we'll click 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 we're changing that cursor and if we ever want to center it all we have to do is hit shift c and that's going to center our scene and it will center that cursor at zero 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 and that's important you always want to work from the center of your scene so you always want to kind of know where zero 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 is and then if you know where zero 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 is you then know where this object is All right. 
Now, to move objects, I would suggest clicking right down here on this little manipulator tool and you'll see now we have these little buttons or these little arrows to show us which direction we're going to be moving this object in. And we can, if we have these, if we shift click, we want to turn these on so we can either have just the arrows or just the rotating circles or just the scale boxes. All right, so the scale boxes allow us to scale. The orbit or rotate circles allow us to rotate. So you just click on the circle and you drag it the way you want. And then we have the move arrows. And if we want to show all three, we'll just click down here. We want to shift click on this and this. So when they're dark, that means that they're active. And how do we select other objects? We're just, we just have to right click. So we're going to right click to select. We're going to shift right click to select multiples. And then if we want to deselect, we just click twice. So if I want to deselect, I have basically I have these three elements selected. Now if I want to deselect one, I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to right click, right click. Shift right click to add. Shift right click to deselect. So shift right click, shift right click to deselect. Now there are a couple of um, toolbars that we want to talk about. If I hit in, or if I just click on this little plus sign up here, I have tools that will allow me to interact with these objects. And remember we kind of rotated this shape. And if I want to get it back to zero, zero, zero rotation, I can come up here and just look at rotation and I'll click on that and I'll say zero, tab, zero, tab, zero, tab. And now I have my cube back to zero, zero, zero rotation. And if I want to get it back to um, a cube, I can come down here into dimensions and I'll just say two by two by two. And now I've got my cube. So we can adjust these by dragging these little boxes and rotating or we can come right up here and interact with them in, and, and fine-tune what we want. So we can uh, change the location, we can ro change the rotation, the scale, and the physical dimensions. And you'll see how we can just turn these little tools on and off as we want to by clicking the little triangles. If we don't want that toolbar, we'll tap the N key, and if we don't want this toolbar, we'll tap the, tap the T key. So those are, kind of, those are some tools that we're going to be using quite often. Alright, I think that's good for now. Um, that's kind of the basics of uh, navigation. So middle mouse click, shift middle mouse click, and your scroller wheel. Alright, thanks for watching and I will see you down the road in yet another video tutorial. Thanks.